Well, that was the noisiest lecture I've ever seen. I can't believe that during the design of this game, the person who was tasked with putting that part of the game in didn't realise, hang on a minute, sounds like there's a constant fucking giant machine running in the background and you can't hear a word the professor's saying. That was really weird. I'm surprised they uh, didn't fix that. Oh well, it was subtitled, so... Not like I missed much, but still. Shit, I think I've gone the wrong way. I'm trying to get the oh, oh, no, I am. Professor's office. You! Professor, it's me. I have come to pick up the mammoth doll. The doll is waiting for you there, Miss Walker. Please take good care of it. Don't worry. I'm beginning to get quite attached to it myself. Can I trouble you just a little longer? With pleasure, Kate. I'm all ears. Indeed, you are. <laughs> I must congratulate you for your lecture. You were right. The subject is absolutely fascinating. I never believed that mammoths could be so interesting. What you heard was only the tip of the iceberg, my dear. But if I have at least awoken a passion in you, I'm only too proud. Did Hans Wahlberg agree with your hypothesis on the Yukels being able to tame mammoths? Now, Hans was no man of science. His pathological obsession was to find mammoths that were still in existence. Such a hypothesis is somewhat overblown, don't you think? You don't believe in it yourself? Mammoths died out thousands of years ago. Of this, we are certain. Today, the only mammoths in Siberia are frozen ones. Huh? Do you know where Hans might have gone after his stay here in Barakstadt? No, but I would not be surprised if he left in search of the Yukals, or what is left of them today. What would you say about seeing Hans Varlberg again? After all, you could... Come with me and help me find him. <laughs> Young lady, you are very kind. <laughs> I'm far too old for such escapades. Your Hans Varlberg sounds uncannily like the one I'm looking. Can you tell me a little? He was always a mystery to me. I'll leave. Uh, Sorry? Oh, shit. We know all that. Yeah, okay, right, I'll flick through this so that uh, viewers can read it using the pause button. And now I'm going to record in and read it myself. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to be coming across mammoths on this adventure. Kind of knew that anyway. There's been a whole mammoth esque theme going on. to the train, I think. I'm guessing I can leave. Let me just check my inventory. Bergstadt, Weissender, Wine. Shit, I didn't grab a mammoth, did I? Ah, you dickhead.
Right, now we can return to the train. That guy must have been standing there for three days straight. The only student in the school. That's okay, I can go through the train anyway, can't I? I won't have to come all the way back up. I don't need to do that again. Yeah. I don't need to do that again. You should do. That's weird. I thought that would have... Oh well. Oh, hang on a minute. I don't need to do that again. <sighs> Damn you, woman! I thought maybe I had to open it first. I don't remember opening it the last time I did it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I can't do anything else there, so that must be right. Fuck it. Let's just go talk to Oscar. Actually, let's not talk to Oscar. No, I'm being forced. Everything okay? Yes, Kate Walker. I am waiting to continue our journey. Thank you. Oscar. Oscar, get ready. I'm going to start winding up the clockwork engine. Good, Kate Walker. Then we can carry on our journey. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I know, Oscar, I know. I'm off, Oscar. See you later. Yes, Kate Walker. If I were to watch one of those silly... No, 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 no. It doesn't go in there, it goes in the shelf. There we go. Nope, that one goes. Over here. There we go. 